We begin the bulletin with some unfortunate news that's been coming in. Ace mountaineer Mali Mastan Babu, who went missing since the 24th of March from the Andes Mountains in South America, has been found dead. The MEA sources have told headlines today that the body of the mountaineer has been found and the Indian embassy is coordinating with the local authorities for facilitating the return of the body to the family. 44-year-old Malli Mastan was in South America to climb the 21,748 feet high Cerro Trus a mountain range where Babu and his friends had started their ascent from Argentinian side towards the summit that lies on the Chilean side of the Andes. As per reports, Babu and his group were at the base camp on the 24th of March when he apparently set off alone to check out the route. The weather deteriorated soon afterwards and he went missing since then. We spoke to the rescue operation coordinator in uh, India, Piyush Bajpai, a short while ago. Let's listen in what he had to say. Yes, uh, we came to know yesterday night. Uh, uh, the rescue team uh, found him uh, at around 5,900 meters uh, near the summit. Right, sir. We are, our correspondents also spoke to the sister of Mali Mastan Babu. She is apparently in Tirupati praying for the safe return of her brother. But that means that the family still does not know that they have lost uh, Mali Mastan in Chile. No, they are uh, aware. His sister is aware of it, and uh, she's gone. They live near Tirupati, so uh, they've gone out uh, to Tirupati. She stay, their family house is near Tirupati. So can you explain the entire procedure? How did the rescue operation start? I mean, it was quite after a very long time uh, when the rescue operation actually started, when you got the permission from the Chilean and uh, Argentina governments to conduct a search operation for Mali Mastan Babu. Yeah, so uh, we came to know uh, an alarm was raised by his friends, uh, mountaineering friends. Uh, on the 24th uh, night, uh, 25th uh, is when we came to know in India uh, from his sister who read a Facebook post uh, through which we came to know about it and then we uh, got together all her, all his friends from various institutions that he has been there uh, from Senex School, from NIT Jamshedpur, from IIM Calcutta, from IIT Kharagpur. All the people got together, we uh, started a private rescue mission uh, which was led by his friend Hernan, uh, who is a mountaineering professional, and he got one of the top professionals of Chile uh, uh, to join that rescue operation. And uh, we uh, proceeded by uh, a car and then on foot to the place, but because of uh, bad weather and a lot of snowfall, uh, the movement was restricted. Uh, for that, we needed to have a heavy uh, air support uh, to take the rescue team up to the summit. However, uh, because uh, Chile, there was uh, already there was bad weather, uh, the uh, Chile government did not have enough helicopters available to deploy. So we took a private helicopter that was available, which took time to take up. The uh, government was very supportive in getting us the permission. However, uh, we were not able to get adequate um, aerial support because of already uh, um, the Chile government being involved in its own uh, calamity around that area where other um, people also have lost lives, so they were busy with that. And um, uh, the private uh, rescue operations uh, continue. Um, we've got a lot of support in terms of all permissions, clear clearances, etc. from the government. The Indian government has been uh, very supportive in that. Um, and to help us reach the summit. However, I think uh, we were too late to reach uh, the summit. Um, so, and uh, yesterday at 1 o'clock is when uh, the on-ground rescue team found him. Mm -hmm. Sir, can you tell us uh, when and how will be the body being uh, brought back to India and when is uh, it expected yeah. to come to India? So, uh, there is a lot of snowfall out there. Uh, the private uh, chopper that we had as as a network funded and collected and uh, put on the mission will not be able to uh, retrieve his body um, because of the bad weather. We need much uh, better advanced uh, aircraft support to do it and also uh, people on the ground. Uh, we uh, hope the Indian government would uh, coordinate this and help us uh, support us 
in being able to uh, retrieve his uh, remains uh, from the site. Uh, we suspect this would take some time uh, before it is possible. Right, uh, Mr. Bajpai, you think that the rough weather proved to be the biggest problem that given that he is such an experienced mountaineer? Uh, I didn't get that. Could you please I'm asking, sir, that do you think that the rough weather proved to be the biggest problem given that uh, Mali Mastan Babu was such an experienced mountaineer? Yeah, uh, I, this, this is true. The, the uh, weather turned extremely rough, which uh, I think I was not expected uh, by anyone in that area. It's not happened in a long time out there. Uh, and I'm sure uh, Mastan being a very uh, experienced expert as well as an instinctive person uh, would have done uh, and uh, you know we don't even know uh, how long he would have waited for the rescue to reach him uh, you know so uh, i think yes the weather did turn him out and that's unfortunate piece of news coming in uh, from Chile that uh, Mali Mastan Babu is no more rescue operation coordinator in India Mr. Piyush Bajpai many thanks for speaking with us for more on that, uh, joining me on the phone line is Deputy Editor Smita Sharma and uh, Editor South T.S. Sudhir. Uh, Smita, we just heard the rescue operation coordinator Piyush Bajpai saying that it was bad weather that hampered the search operation and it will take some time to bring back the body to India. Absolutely, Amita. And in fact, uh, just a few seconds back, uh, the first official response in a way coming in, uh, this, I mean, Minister of External Affairs spokesperson, Sayyid Akbaruddin has just said that, uh, you know, uh, it is a difficult situation and they are working, in fact, with friends and family, with authorities in both Argentina and Chile towards taking the next step. You know, if you just look at the kind of messages pouring in on social websites right now, Amita, it just goes on to show how much of an inspiration was Amali Masan Babu really for mountaineers, not just in India, but across the world, you know, having scaled seven summits in summits in seven continents in 172 days, thereby making that record. Uh, clearly, you know, he was a very, very passionate man, and he died following that passion, pursuing that passion. So, uh, for the moment, of course, uh, the Indian government now uh, trying to help, and his friends, in fact. Uh, you know, those people who were work, working with him, the mountain teams, the rescue teams, they also seem to be requesting the Indian government to give him a, a, a farewell defeating a national hero. Amita? Right, Sudhir, as uh, Smita was pointing out, that uh, the alumni network of NIT, uh, Jamshedpur, IIT, Kharagpur, and IIM uh, Kolkata, they are now uh, asking, they're requesting the government for a farewell befitting a national hero for Mali Mastan Babu. Absolutely, because they do feel that he is a national hero who had kind of put India up on the mountaineering map. He was somebody who was felicitated and also rewarded by a, a lot of countries who are passionate about mountaineering. And he is one person who has done something which no mountaineer in India has done before. So in that sense, they do feel that he is a national hero, also highly educated an alumni of IIT Kharagpur and IIM Kolkata. And therefore, they feel that his body should be brought back to India at the earliest and a cremation should be given with full state honors befitting a national hero. Deputy Editor Smita Sharma and Editor South T.S. Sudhir, many thanks for joining us.